Hello guys, welcome to this presentation. Uh, today I'm going to do something on statistics one, and this is a very common question that uh, is set in paper one uh, mathematics examinations. Now we have a question here whereby uh, we begin with a table with the two rows um, whereby one represents the length in centimeters and uh, the next row represents uh, the number of leaves. In other words, uh, this is the frequency and this is the class. The length stands for class and the number of, uh, the number of uh, leaves stands for uh, frequency. Now, this is what we have. We have, um, we have got uh, nine um, classes. These are nine classes that we have. Now, the first question reads, uh, state the model frequency. For uh, one to be able to state the model frequency, then you will have to check um, the highest frequency. The model frequency simply means the highest frequency. Like now here, if you uh, check very well, you discover that uh, the highest frequency we have is 14. So 14 is going to be our model frequency. So the answer here is going to be 14, the model frequency. What about the model class? The model class is the class with the highest frequency. The class with the highest frequency, and that class is in fact 4.5 all the way to 4.9. So our model class is 4.5 uh, to 4.9. Uh, that is our model uh, class. Let us proceed. So part B of this question uh, requires uh, one to calculate the mean length. For us to be able to calculate the mean length, then we must come up with a table like this that I have um, already made. Uh, the table must have classes, frequency, uh, the midpoint, X stands for uh, midpoint. This one stands for midpoint. And then F of X, we have F of X. This is the product of frequency and midpoint. And we have CF, which stands for cumulative frequency. So I have filled in the column for class and the column for frequency. Um, I want to proceed to midpoint. How uh, are you supposed to work out uh, midpoint. For one to work out the midpoint, you first of all need to get the sum of these uh, two uh, values that we have. That is 3.0 and 3.4. Uh, the sum will give you 6.4 and uh, you go ahead and divide by this by 2. When you divide by 2, you are going to get um, uh, 3.2 as your midpoint. You do the same 3.5 plus uh, 3.9, it is going to give you 7.4. You divide by 2, it's going to give you 3.7. You do the same, you have 4.2, then we have 4.7. Uh, we proceed to uh, 5.2, we have 5.7, we have 6.2, we have 6.7, then we have 7.2. Now, what about F, Fx? So fx, like I said earlier, it is the product of the frequency and the midpoint. In this case, you are going to multiply 1 uh, by 3.2. It is going to give you 3.2. You do the same 4 by uh, 3.7. It is going to give us 14.8. Uh, you proceed uh, to 37.8. We have 65.8. Then we have 62.4, uh, we proceed to uh, 57, we have 37.2, then we proceed to uh, 20.1, then we have 7.2, lastly we have uh, 7.2. What about cumulative frequency? Under cumulative frequency, you will have to work with the frequency. So the one we have here, you take it here, yes, the one we have here, you transfer it to uh, the first uh, space under the cumulative frequency. What, uh, how, how, how can you find the second, uh, the second value? Now for us to find the second value, we'll have to take 4, then we add 2 to 1. 4 plus 1 will give us 5. 
you do the same. 5 plus 9, uh, you get 14. 14 plus 14, you get 28. 28 plus 12, you get 40. 40 plus 10, 50. You proceed like that to 56. Eh? Then you move to 59. And then uh, you finish with this one, 60. Uh, now the next thing is to find the, the totals. Under the frequency, the total here, the total here, it is 60. Uh, the total here is 60. Under the uh, product of frequency and the midpoint, the total here is 305.5. Now, let us work out the mean. For us to be able to work out the mean, then we must have the total for f of x or the summation of f of x or over the uh, summation of uh, frequency which we have the summation for f of x is 305.5 we divide by the frequency which is uh, 60 when you divide this it is going to give us 5.092 centimeters 5.092 centimeters what about the median now under the median we will have to apply this formula that says uh, you have to get the lower class limit, the lower class uh, limit, then plus n over 2, then uh, we open the bracket like this, then minus the cumulative frequency above, then we divide this by the uh, frequency within that class, then we multiply by the class interval, by the class interval. Now, for us to be able to get the class interval, we go to our class here and uh, we have the first value as 3.0. Uh, the next one is um, uh, 3.45. You realize that the least number that you can read from this is in fact 2.95. So the least value we can read from this is 2.95. And the highest we can read from this is 3.45 now for us to get the interval we will have to subtract uh, 2.9 from 3.45 now this one is going to give us um, 0 0.5 so our interval is in fact 0 0.5 our interval is 0 0.5 now what about n over 2 n over 2 we have already discovered that our interval i is 0 0.5 what about our n over 2 n over 2 n stands for the frequency uh, this is the total frequency you divide by 2 so you discover that n divided by 2 is the same as 60 you divide by 2 which is going to give us 30 now we go to our cumulative frequency and try to look to locate that you discover that that is in between 28 and 40 so automatically it is going to uh, uh, to be in this class uh, we cannot say it is in between because in between we do not have a class so we are going to transfer that to uh, 40 and then we will say that this is where now that is we will say that the lower class limit for this point at this point it is in fact 4.95 4.95 so we are going to say it is 4.95 then plus into bracket 30 n over 2 is 30 what about the cumulative frequency above the cumulative frequency above 40 is 28 so we take away 28 then we divide by the frequency within that class the frequency within that class is 12 so we divide by 12 and then we multiply by 0 0.5 if you do this uh, if you put this in a calculator it is going to give us uh, 5.0 033 centimeters thank you so much for watching uh, please subscribe and share this video thank you so much i'm looking forward to um, interacting with you in the next presentation thank you so much